people in downtown Baton Rouge bringing out over 7,000 people and 200 vendors line the streets in front of Capitol Park Museum. Sudan Britton joins us live here in our newsroom. Sudan, what can you tell us? An online an online trend quickly turns into a street festival that represents unity, people, and culture. It kicks off this weekend for the start of festival season. It all started out as a trendy post until finally a team of Baton Rouge leaders decided to bring it to life. The 225 host, Gino McLaughlin, has a lot to say about this trend. People were posting all the videos about Baton Rouge because 225 is also February 25th, right? And so every, every February 25th, you saw this trend where people were posting all these cool videos, throwback videos, memories of, you know, their times in Baton Rouge. One Baton Rouge local supporter, Perry White, is thrilled to share what he thinks the 225 Festival is all about. A 225 Fest, I think, represents what Baton Rouge is to its essence. And to be able to have a festival to where you can represent what this city is and the culture. Baton Rouge just got a little bit more fascinating. The 225 Fest is a free event where people of all area codes can come enjoy food, different genres of music, and the love of art. Not only did this festival showcase just this, that, or that, the director of nursing and allied health says she came to promote health. We're here to promote health literacy in the community and we offer them health um, items from our table such as first aid kits, we have healthy lunch kits, we also have water bottles, everything that we hand out, we promote health literacy in some type of way. The 225 Fest coordinators say the crowd was larger than anticipated and plan to continue this event. Live in the newsroom, Sudan Britton, NBC Local 33 News. Well, a fatal crash involving